Kaplan, Princeton Review, Next Step Test Prep, M Prep, Altius, you name it, there's a test prep company out there for the MCAT. Today I'm going to talk about a relative newcomer to the MCAT world, MedQuest. Now MedQuest has been known for a long time among medical students because they help medical students prepare for the boards, both the Comlex and USMLE boards. And so now they're getting into the MCAT world with their MCAT Fast Pass. That's what we're going to talk about today. Now in the pre-med years podcast, and if you don't subscribe to that, you should, I talked to Elizabeth about why she helped MedQuest create the MCAT Fast Pass. And it came up from a frustration of her studying for the MCAT and really not having the materials that she wanted, the ones that she thought would help her the best. And that's where MedQuest's MCAT Fast Pass was born out of. Now, MedQuest's Fast Pass is very different than the majority of other test prep options out there. We all know Kaplan, Princeton Review, they have their big classes. You go and you sit and you're, you're instructed to or taught to, talked to really, uh, for hours on end. MedQuest wanted to do something different. They wanted to give you something that would be a quick home run of, a, of an overview of everything that the AAMC actually wants you to know for the MCAT. And so they dug into the AAMC's materials and went through their syllabus for the MCAT. And that's what you're going to learn on the MCAT Fast Pass from MedQuest. So the, the MCAT Fast Pass is really meant to be a companion to the AAMC materials for the MCAT. So you look at those and you, you study the, M, uh, the MedQuest Fast Pass and you use those two together and hopefully you get an amazing score. So what exactly is in the Fast Pass? So there are 48 chapters broken down into six different sections and it covers the basic stuff. We know the chemistry, physics, biology, biochemistry, the cars section, which everybody hates, and the newer for the, the new 2015 MCAT, the psychology, sociology. They also have a chapter in there on the test day and they have a whole section on strategy and, and introduction to the MCAT. So there's a lot of material here. Now most of the chapters, when you go into it, it's, it's material. Again, it, it follows the AAMC outline, the syllabus that the AAMC gives you, and you have a video that corresponds to each of these sections. So it is very much a video heavy course. Now, you can watch these videos on your iOS device or Android device, so any mobile device you have. Obviously, if you're out and about watching these videos, you'd wanna make sure that you're on a Wi-Fi connection so you don't eat up all of your network usage for your, for your phone, for your data plan, whatever you have. So that's one thing to keep in mind. But you can also watch on, on a desktop and sit in front of the computer and watch there. That's, that's obviously an option for you. So each of the chapters have, uh, it, it breaks down into all of the material. Again, following the syllabus that the AAMC provides, you have a white screen basically with Elizabeth doing the teaching of all of this material. And it's, it's done relatively well. It has Elizabeth talking and then slides next to her projected uh, on the video. And it's, it's done really well, and Elizabeth holds your attention. One of the nice things that I like is that the video player allows you to speed it up, so you can do um, uh, times one, times one and a half, times two, so you can get through the material a little bit faster. I, I don't know about you, but when I listen to podcasts, I listen uh, at a faster rate and I know that my wife actually hates it when, when we start to listen to a podcast together because I have it sped up really fast and it sounds like a little micro machine man to her. So we've talked a lot about how this, is, uh, this fast pass follows the syllabus from the AAMC. One of the things that you have to keep in mind is that the MCAT, while there's a lot of content to know, isn't really a content test. It's a test that tests your ability of 
analyzing the question, analyzing the passage, and using critical thinking to come to an answer. And so while the MCAT FastPass by MedQuest provides you a lot of the content, that content isn't going to ensure, or knowing that content isn't going to ensure that you maximize your score on the MCAT. And so one of the things that MedQuest does in each of these chapters, or each of the sections rather, they have sample passages at the end. And so you'll have a sample passage, you read the passage, it's written below the video, you read the passage, look at the answers, and then Elizabeth comes on and talks about the passage in the video and helps you break down the passage, analyze what's being said, helps you think critically through that passage so that you can get the right answer. So I wish they had more of these because that is what I think really helps a student in maximizing his or her MCAT scores, going through these passages with somebody that knows how to break them down. So hopefully that's something they add more of in the future. They do have a book that goes along with the MCAT FastPass course. You can get it at Amazon. There are some negative reviews out there. It looks like there's a bunch of mistakes maybe in the book. I haven't gone through it myself. I do have a copy of it that, that MedQuest yeah, gave me to look at. Obviously, I'm far removed from my MCAT test prep days, and so even if I did look at it, I'm not going to know what's right or wrong in there. Uh, but there, there have been some negative reviews on Amazon, at least one uh, one-star review that I saw that mentioned some reviews and then or, or for some mistakes, and then a couple of the other reviews also mentioned mistakes. One thing you have to keep in mind is that when you're putting together a huge book like this, there are going to be mistakes. Kaplan, Princeton Review, Next Step, they're all going to have some mistakes, some typos, whatever it is in their books, and that gets fixed over time. So. It's not unheard of that there are mistakes. Just know when you're going through the material that if something looks a little off to you, double check it and make sure. All right, so who is the MedQuest MCAT FastPass course good for? So we've talked a lot about that this is a content heavy course. This teaches you the material that you need to know for the MCAT as laid out by the AAMC, the people that make the test. This is a course that's good for anybody that is on a very extreme budget. This is very budget friendly, this course. And I love how the MedQuest folks have laid out several budget friendly options for MCAT test prep. So if you go in, you say, I, I have $600 to spend, or I have $300 to spend, or whatever it is, and they have some options there for you. This is good for somebody who is a non-traditional student, maybe somebody a little bit more removed from their undergrad years, haven't taken a science course in a while and needs a refresher. Somebody that's trying to take the MCAT maybe without redoing their prereqs because they did well in their prereqs, but maybe they were several years ago and so you just need a little bit of a refresher. So that would be good for somebody. This would be good for somebody that's looking to polish up their knowledge. Maybe they didn't do as well as they wanted in their prereqs and now they they want to take a course to help polish up that information. So check out that as well. Overall, I think this is a good course for those people that that I just mentioned. You can save 20% by entering the code MEDSCHOOLHQ in the promo code box at the checkout. When you, when you check out and buy the MCAT FastPass. So utilize that. Again, that's Med School HQ in the promo box. Thanks for watching, and I hope you subscribe to stay tuned for more great videos here at the Medical School Headquarters.